Robin. I'm Sarah. Um, what I know about starting a business is that it can be overwhelming and having all of the things that you need to think about can actually stop you from actually getting started. And a lot of the time when you're starting a business you don't have uh, the income generated to actually put a lot of money into your business so you have to bootstrap a lot of the time. And so one thing I know that a lot of people think is that I need a website and then the actual idea of setting up a website and everything it just gets too much for them especially if they're trying to do it themselves however one thing I know is that you just need something online that people can refer to to learn a bit more about you and so that people understand you can solve their problems okay and that you understand that they're the situation that they're in so today I'm going to show you the one thing that you just need to, to do to get started and that is to have a landing page. Now you can actually create a landing page on a website or use one of the platforms dedicated for um, landing pages like lead pages or click funnels but again those are platforms that will cost you a little bit of money to get started and sometimes if you don't understand how they work it can again stop you from getting started so the simplest and I like simple the simplest way to get started is to use a Google Doc now you might think that's a bit crazy but I'm going to show you how to set up a Google Doc as your landing page just so you've got something out there so that you're not constantly fielding emails from um, inquiries and that you're not having to write the same thing over and over again to people and it's a perfect place for people to find out about you and one thing you can do if you've already got a domain name you can actually redirect that to your Google Doc so that if you're giving out your domain name you can actually have people landing on your la landing page i.e. your Google Doc and finding out more about you and having a call to action on there that actually gets people contacting you. So I'm going to take you to my computer now and show you how to set up a landing page using Google Docs and I'll see you there. Okay so what you want to do is um, sign into your Google account and you'll know that you're signed in by your um, avatar up here. If you haven't uploaded a photo that won't be there. So what you then need to do is go, um, you can go straight to Google Docs or I'll just show you how to um, get into your drive. Now, if you click this little button here, which is like this grid, you can access all the different tools that Google offer. These will be in maybe a different order on yours. Um, I like to have my Gmail and Drive at the top. So you click G Drive and this is basically your cloud computer. Okay, so what you're going to do is go new a Google Doc. And what you're gonna do is enter all the copy for what you want your landing page to have. So I've just copy and pasted some Lorem Ipsum, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is just change a little bit of this so that it looks a bit more interesting rather than just uh, text all over it. So we're gonna use the different things here. So I'm gonna put that as a title, have that as the middle, change that to a subtitle. And then down here, we're going to have another couple of subtitles, I think. Okay, and then what this would be is perhaps we could also add in some images. So what you would do is just insert image and you could upload from a computer or you could just drop it into, into, the, into the document yourself, like drag and drop feature. I'm not going to do that right now because I haven't got an image to hand. And then you would have a call to action at the bottom. Um, book a time in my diary or my calendar or um, download this thing. What you do is highlight the text you want and then you click this button here to insert a link. And then you would put your link to your calendar booking or the download that you want to use. And then you press apply when it's in there. So I'm just going to put that. Um, I'm just going to put that as my website just for now, just so you can see how it look. Okay, apply there. Yeah. Okay. So when someone clicks on that, that's it. Okay, then we just want to title it It'll automatically select whatever you've got up there. You can title it however you want. And then what you want to do to get the URL for this Google Doc that you will want to share You'll go to file share and then you go to advanced features and then you want this bit here change anyone with the link can view you don't want anyone to be able to comment or edit it you just want it viewing and you press save 
And then that is the URL that you use for your forwarding of your domain. Okay. And when you go back to drive, you'll see that that's your document. So if you add the URL to your browser, you'll see this is how it looks. Okay. Now what you can do, so you can turn this into a PDF and what you do is file download as a PDF and that will download to your, um, computer and then what I can do is just upload it again by dragging and dropping it and then that's a, a PDF and that's how it will look if someone gets the link for this one so you can do exactly the same thing if you right click on here you can get the share link you do exactly what you did before you press advance change anyone with a link can view and you save it and then that's the URL that you use so if we go to the browser and put that URL in, we have that as a PDF. Now, this is also useful if you have a download that you want to share with someone, you can add your PDF download to your Google Drive by just dragging and dropping it into your drive and then getting the share link by there. So that's uh, two birds with one stone, learning um, how to create a landing page in Google Docs, and also using uh, G Drive as your host for your PDFs. So there you have it. It's easy as pie to get your offer out there, ready for people to, to view and ready for people to actually take action on and contact you. So if you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to keep on top of more copywriting tips and hacks, as well as tech tutorials, then subscribe to my channel below and I'll see you in my next video. Ta-da!